coming from the ceiling for you You went from the south, there was no limit to you And now I'm catching the list, baby I'm super excited because I've never been to Curl Fest before. I don't even think I knew Curl Fest was a thing until like a few months ago. But I just looked on their page and they have like a bunch of brands that I really, really like, like Miel, Black Girl Sunscreen, going to be there. So I'm just waiting for, um, so I'm just excited, you know, to go there. And I purchased like the VIP ticket. So I'm gonna get like a bag full of like different products. So I'm excited for that as well. So y'all gonna come along with me. We finally made it. We're walk we had a, to take a Uber to drop us off because apparently they said you can't drive onto the island for whatever reason. But um, so we took an Uber, but now he dropped us off like backstage. So now we have to walk to where the actual event is. And he said it's up a hill. So he about to go hiking y'all. And I don't think my outfit gives go for a hike it definitely gives feed me grapes and carry me that's what this outfit gives was like melting like if i come back again i know no makeup at all but i just want to be cute because i want to take pictures because i have a really nice dress on but mm -mm. but i'm eating this vegan empanada right now it's supposed to be a mocktail like big oxtail and i don't eat oxtail so i was like i want to try it yeah it tastes so good like oh my gosh like 10 out of 10. it's from this girl called black puerto rican vegan i believe I'm gonna tag it here because I've been following her page for mad long and she's from the Bronx like I am and I've always wanted to try um, her stuff and so I was like when I seen her I ran over to the booth and I was like let me get one please yeah and I'm have a bag of free stuff that I got because I got the VIP um ticket so when I get home I'm debating if I want to unbox it on here or do a separate video or just do it on TikTok so we'll see but yeah this is so good it's so hot oh i also got these shades from here they're so cute um but yeah okay so it's been about a few weeks since i went to curl fest and right now i'm gonna go through everything they put in my bag i did purchase a vip ticket which was supposed to come with a full-size bag of products um so we're gonna go through all those things and at the end i will give y'all my overall take so first in the bag i did get this um Hawaiian Silky Jamaican Black Castor Oil Ultra Max Styling Gel Stronghold. So I'm also going to put the prices of the products on the screen. And then at the end, I'll put the total to see if it kind of added up to the price that we paid for the ticket. Um, because I think like the ticket was like a hundred and something dollars. Whereas general admission was like maybe 60, I believe. So I don't know. We got this pick in here, the OG Afro pick from Pardon My Fro. I think it's cute. I like that green and black color. Um, we also got this Miss Jackie's Leave in Joy Bean in Aloe Leave in Conditioner. Yeah, Joy Bean. That's what it says, Joy Bean. Let me see how it smells. Hmm. It has a clean smell to it. Like it is thing. It just smells clean, like like soapy, like clean. Next we have this coconut shade leave in conditioner by Eden Body Works. This is how it looks. Mm. 
Mm, that smells good. Definitely smells like shea, like shea butter. Um, then we had this coconut oil, hair and scalp oil. I, as you can see, I kind of used this a little bit. It smelled really good, so I used it. Like I said, this is a few weeks later <laughs> since I went to Curl Fest. Then we got this little packet of Afro Love, a hair souffle. Then we got this hair wash, gentle milky hair cleanse from, looks like this. I like the packaging, the packaging is cute. Like this little pouch, I think that's super cute. Then we had got some Miguel Organics, the mango, the mango hair serum. I did use this. That's what a bottle bait looks the way it looks. Then we got this um, All About Curls High Definition Gel. It says Crunches Ultra Hold. We got this Smoothing Sulfate Free Shampoo from Rucker Roots. Got my yellow organics, meow. And we got some cocoa butter. Some cocoa butter palmer packs. What we got? Also got this fan from Palmer's. And they actually gave out ice cream while we were there, which the ice cream was really, really good. Okay, so now let's get into my overall take of Curl Fest. So like I said, I did purchase a VIP ticket. Honestly, I feel like I could have went and just did general admissions. Like when you get in there, it's like a very open field, which I like because it's like not everybody is crowded and on top of each other. The only time you're really going to be crowded is like when you're waiting on a line or waiting to get in. The lines were long for certain stands and stuff like that. One thing I will say was when I looked on Curlfest page, some of the vendors and stuff that they said were going to be there were not there. Like, I was looking forward to, like, um, Black Girl Sunscreen. And I didn't see not one Black Girl Sunscreen in sight. Or even putting a product in their bag. Then they said on the thing that you will be receiving a bag full of full-size products. A lot of these brands did give small travel size, you know, products. Which, you know what? I understand having a business and all those different things. Um... And once you really do a walkthrough, it's not really much to see. Like, you know, you have different vendors, you have different stations, but it's not really like much to see. Like we were able to do the whole thing in like an hour, right? Then some of the vendors that came weren't even there selling products. And the whole point, a lot of people go to Curl Fest is because you're supposed to be able to get discounted products with your ticket like especially if you're paying for B, um, VIP a lot of vendors like for instance Yellow Organics wasn't even there selling products they did have a beautiful display as you saw in my vlog and um they the bag that they gave us was also very beautiful but I was looking forward to buy some products and I couldn't buy any products then the seating area they said that there was going to be a seating area for um people who purchased the vip ticket it was very limited seating like there was not a lot of seats at all so a lot of people did end up bringing their own chairs thankfully i did have a stool with me that i brought with me but it's like if we're paying our money for a ticket and you're advertising something you have to accommodate for the amount of numbers that you're selling the ticket for like once you see okay i have 100 people who bought this vip ticket let me make sure i have 100 seats whether those 100 people show up or not, you need to make sure you accommodate them because guess what? Now you have only 50 seatings and you have people, 50 people standing. Like, so we're mad. We feel like we're not getting our money's worth. Then here's what I, what I noticed what they did. Um, 
with people who purchased general admission. So there were a bunch of food trucks, right? But I noticed that if you had general admission, you were not able to really have access to the food trucks. You were only able to get access to go to the food trucks if you had that risk, that VIP wristband so that you could go in through the VIP section to then lead you up to where the food trucks were. So that's another thing. Um, however, I really didn't even end up getting anything from the food trucks and I actually ended up going back down to the field and getting um, from Black Week and Vegan that was, she was out in the field because the lines for the food trucks were super long. Like these were super, super long lines. Also, it was extremely hot that day. Like extremely hot. Like if y'all saw my vlog, my makeup was melting off of my face. People's makeups were like dripping off of their faces. Like it was extremely hot. Overall, like I like the fact of being surrounded by black women and just seeing like, you know, everybody dressing up, everybody had their natural hair out or whatever style they had, just being surrounded and supporting black businesses. So that is something that I did like about it. However, oh, and the music was really, really good. Like whoever was DJing was really, really good. Overall, it was cute. Like it's a really, really cute event to experience if you never got the experience. However, I don't necessarily think that if I do go back, I probably won't go back next year, but if I do go back, I will definitely, definitely probably just get regular admission. Also, they told people that they could not drive onto the island because I, I forgot whatever reason they gave. I don't know. They just said you couldn't drive onto the island. Definitely could have drove onto the island because then now it was hard to catch Ubers people had to take public transportation and i guess they said that just to limit like the traffic but like not everybody wants to take public transportation or not everybody wants to be able to spend money on an uber because we probably paid like 80 something dollars for an uber just to get there and back so on top of the hundred and something dollar ticket that we bought now we're adding an extra 80 for um transportation then we're also adding money for food, which everything was extremely overpriced. Like a bottle of water, I believe, was like $6. And they didn't even have bottles. They had like a can of water. It was like $6. I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, overall, that's my take of Curlfest. Let me know if you've ever been to Curlfest before and what you think. Am I tripping or do you agree? And I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of people complaining. Like a lot of people complaining. Because I, I think before in the previous years, people were able to bring chairs. They were telling people this time they couldn't bring chairs. People were bringing cooler bags and stuff, which rightfully so. Um, bring your cooler bag with your drinks to keep you hydrated because it was hot. And they said they were going to have water stations and stuff. They did, but it wasn't, an, I don't know. It just, it didn't wow me. Like, I was not wowed by, um, I, I just wasn't wowed and i i had high hopes and high expectations for it so it did kind of disappoint me a little bit i'm going to be 100 percent honest but hopefully they get feedback for and constructive criticism from this past event and they apply it and they move forward but this is the end of my vlog i hope you all enjoyed it let me know y'all thoughts and i'll see you on my next video bye y'all